In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to create an image comparison slider using elements of reversion and also elements case lights. And without wasting much time, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is to log into the WordPress admin area for your website. And what you need to do is to first go to plugin and select add new. That is if you don't have Elementor plugin installed and also Elements Kit plugin installed. So for my case, if I should search for Elementor, you're going to see that the, um, the plugin is already installed and activated on my website. So I can just, you know, start creating the page. So having installed and activated Elementor and Elements Kit Light plugin, you can just come to Pages and select Add New. So I'm just going to give this page a title of, let's say, Image. And most importantly, you need to come down to Templates and select um elemental full width so this is going to give elemental the ability to design the full width of your page and if you're using notion wp wordpress theme you might need to activate this option so under the main section select full width and come down to title to disable the title too so we're just going to publish this page and by the time we view this page in a new tab we're going to see we have a blank page with absolutely nothing on it so what we need to do is to come back here to click on this blue button that says edit with elementor and it's going to open up the elementor editor for us so we can start designing this slider this image comparison slider so come to this search bar here to search for a widget called image comparison and this is what we have here we have the we have this widget in the free version of elements kit slides so we just need to drag this widget here all right so to begin with, I would like to change this container style from vertical to horizontal because that is one I prefer. If you want to use vertical, you can continue using vertical, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using horizontal. And moving on to the next option, we're going to choose our before image. So I'm going to choose this image on my website. So I'm going to choose this Microsoft Bing landing page for home page for their search, um, search engine. I'm going to insert media. And for the after, I'm going to choose the landing page for Google search engine and I'm going to insert media. And also you can change the label text from before if you want to use something else. Let's say I want to use um, Bing and I want to use Google. So you can just do this like this. You can just change the text like this, um, I mean the label. Now moving on to settings, you can change the offsets. Um, from 50 to something else. So actually I prefer 50 because that is the half of this whole um, widget But if you want to use this say 20 you can change it right there So I'm just going to change this to 20 to show you how it's going to look like so this is how it's going to look like But for my own case, I'm going to leave it as 50 and if you want to remove overlay Meaning if you want to remove this text you can tick this option on and it's going to remove the text And if you want to move slider on over you can tick this option on too. So by the time you over on this arrow you can easily move the sliders um actually it's not working okay it's actually working so you can just move this slider by hovering on this arrow option here and the last option it says click to move so by the time i just click anywhere on the on the on this slider it's going to move to that position that i just clicked and i'm going to just um take this option off again now moving on to style this is where you can style the general widget here but i'm not going to do anything here i feel this um, widget is okay as it is but if you just want to do a few things let's say you want to adjust the border radius so let's just say you want to adjust the border radius like this let's say you want to add 100 all through this is where you can do it but i'm just going to leave everything as it is you can also add padding your custom padding to it and also add the border type to this so let's say you want to add a width of five pixels all through and then you want to change the color to red so this is how you can do this right here but like I said earlier, I don't really think all these designs are necessary and I'm just going to leave them as it is. So let's just undo all um, options here and return this back to default. So it's okay like this and then let's move on to label. So for the label, for the before you can customize all the text here, you can change the color for the text. Let's choose red. So let's choose, actually let's choose red. Okay. And by the time we over on it, we can see the ready. Actually, this is supposed to affect only the before text. I don't know why it's affecting the after. And wait, let's let's first select another color for after and let's see whether that's going to fix the problem. Okay, yeah, I think it does fix the problem. Okay, so you can you can select different colors for both of them to stop this plugin from um you know to stop this plugin from you know applying the same colors you added to the before text onto the after text also and you can decide to change the typography you can change the font family the weight 
you can change the uh, maybe from uppercase to lowercase you can change the style and every other thing like you used to do with the typography option in elemental you can also change the background type instead of having this dark um let's say a gray background you can decide to choose let's say white let me choose white just to show you how it's going to look like so this is how it's going to look like when you choose white and you can even decide to use an image for the background you can decide to have custom margin and also custom padding for this button and that's basically everything about this style option for the label and i'm just going to undo all options again because i feel the current one we have is the, the default styling that this plugin has is okay so let me just undo the options right now okay so moving on to the handle which is this um this this handle at the middle where you can control this slider you can change the control width you can either increase the width or increase the height so you can do this and you can also change the background type let's change the color to something like red and you can come down here to change the arrow color to let's change this to white and you can decide to add some shadows to it also so let's let's add a little bit of dark shadow to it as you can see and let's adjust the okay so you can just play around with these sliders to find the best option for you and moving on you can adjust the margin and also adjust the border radius so let's say you want to add 50 to the border radius okay still going to be rounded let's add five and this is how it's going to look like and also you can even change the divider thickness if you want the, the, the divider to be thick and you can just um change this slider and also you can even change the divider color from white so let's say red or um let's say blue or any other color you want to use so you have full um customization option over this plugin despite that despite the fact that it is free you can still customize almost any, anything you wish to customize um like i used to do let me just undo all my changes here and return it back to the default you know the default style that came with this plugin okay so that is basically how with this um widget and you can just come down to advanced to you know add any other advanced feature you want to add but for this tutorial i think um this is basically everything you need to do here but let's say you are designing a web page you can just decide to add some padding here let's say we're just going to add 50 all true and um let's just save changes let's update this page and let's come back here to refresh and this is it this is the slider so um you can just add this slider and then people can slide to see the before and after so this plugin is going to this feature is going to be useful for you let's say you are a photographer and then you're selling a preset so you can just use the before um before a picture before you applied your presets and also a picture after you applied your presets and it's also going to work for you let's say you are a videographer you are a color grader or any other work that might need to show the before and after procedure so i hope this um tutorial helped you and if you found value in this tutorial kindly leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more content like this and i'll be sure to see you guys in my next video peace out